Having ascended gear for your main characters is very helpful, especially for in-game content. So in this Guild Wars 2 ascended gear guide, we'll learn exactly how to get fast ascended gear from the end of Dragon's strike missions. And at the end of the video, I will give you a list of daily and weekly things to do to make it a little easy and fast for you to get the ascended gear. In Arbor Stone, right beside the strike mission portal, you will find this vendor called Chart Collector, and they will have this green crystal icon above their head. In the first tab is where we can find his ascended weapons. You can buy them using green profit shards and gold. Green profit shards is the main currency for the end of dragon strike missions and we will talk about it in details in a minute. In the second tab you will find the ascended trinkets. You will find amulets, accessories and rings. You can also buy the trinkets using the same thing, green profit shards and some gold. Those ascended weapons and trinkets are one of the best in game because they are one of the very few that are stats selectable and they offer the end of dragon stats like ritualists. Before you can buy any of the trinkets you need two requirements. For the amulets you will need to finish the harvest temple strike mission at least twice but for the accessories and rings you will need to do that only once. Keep in mind that you must finish the harvest temple strike mission on the class you plan to buy the trinkets for. So for example if I wanted to buy the ascended trinkets for my harbinger I must finish the harvest temple on my necro. The second requirement is to finish your elite specialization collection. You will find that in your heroes panel and it will not be in end of dragon step instead it will be in the collection step and then scroll down a little and it will be in the specialization collection those collections are also very good because they give you other valuable items for example they will include level 80 exotic amulet rings and accessories that are stat selectable and they will include the end of dragon stats like ritualist and the end reward itself is also an ascended weapon so those collections are very good not only for the trinkets and you should try to do them anyways the collections for the end of dragons specializations will have this light purple color pacifier will be yellow and heart of stones will be green and to know for which specific specialization just hover on the collection itself and it will tell you for example purifier tell me that i will receive the willbender sword when i finish this collection so i know that this is the one for willbender another thing to note is that you can only buy the trinkets on that specific class for example I can only buy the Harbinger trinkets because I am on my necro. Even if I had the requirements for all the other trinkets, I will only see the Harbinger one because I am currently on my necro. Once you buy any of the trinkets, it is no longer an option from the vendor. You can only buy them one time. So I bought the ring and this is why I can no longer see it as an option to buy here. When we right click and customize, this will bring a window that will contain all the stats in games including the Ender Dragon stats, like Ritualists for example. Green Profit Shard is the main currency for the End of Dragons strike missions. You get them every time you do any of the strike missions whether you succeed or fail. But of course you will get a little bit more if you manage to succeed at the end. But you can only get up to a maximum of 100 green shards this way. Once you reach that limit per week, you can no longer get shards even if you manage to finish all the strikes successfully. But there are two ways where we can get more shards above that 100 limit. The first one is through the daily. Every day when you go to the daily strike mission tab, there will be a daily priority strike for one of the end of dragons strike missions. When you finish this priority strike, this will give you some shards and an extra chest. You will get those shards even if you reach the weekly limit of 100. The second one is through the weekly end of dragon strikes achievements. Every time you will finish those achievements, you will get those rewards which include the green profit shards. And you will get them even if you already reached the weekly cap. Those rewards will require you to finish each of the strike missions at least once per week. Now I will give you a few tips to get as many green profit shards per week as you can, which will enable you to buy the ascended gear faster. The most important thing is to try and do the daily priority strike, which you can find in the daily strike mission tab under the daily category. This will give you 5 green shards and a chest. Next you want to go to the weekly strike mission achievement which you can find under the end of dragons tab in the strike missions. And 
and make sure you did not miss any of the strike missions because remember to finish this achievement you need to do each one of the strike missions at least once per week and when you do this will give you a lot of rewards that will include the green shards a legendary insight and two gold so by simply trying to do the daily strike mission every day you will finish all of the achievements for the daily priority strikes and you will also finish all of the achievements for the weekly strikes and this is how we can maximize our green profit charts per week keep in mind that this weekly achievement resets every monday very often throughout the day in the strike missions tab you will find a lot of lfgs doing the daily priority strike most of the time you will find people using shortcuts like this ah is short for acer blade hideout ko is short for cunning overlook and so on i also have other guides where we explain the mechanics for some of the strike missions if you want to check them out you will find the links in the description end of dragon strike missions can have a little bit more mechanics than the ice Brood saga ones but overall do you find them easy enough to try and do them every day and also do you prefer the end of dragon strike mission style or the ice Brood saga ones let me know in the comments below as i always like to get some feedback from our community if you want to know how to get even more ascended gear for all your characters from the ice Brood saga strike missions check the video on your screen now so i will see you in the next guide